Hi everyone, Yasa Skakalo Sirfata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to make a Mediterranean chickpea salad from start to finish. It takes about 15 minutes to put together. It keeps fresh in the refrigerator for days, so it's a great dish to make if you like to meal prep because you can just throw this together and keep it in the fridge, put some chicken on it or whatever your favorite meat is on top, or serve it over couscous or add some beans to it. The options are endless. It's so zesty and delicious and also very healthy. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas. They're also known as garbanzo beans. I like to buy them in the can because I throw them into rice pilafs, into salads, stews. They're just so versatile, so many things you could do with them. But if you boil your own, that's fine too. If you're using canned, make sure to rinse them really well and then drain them. Add them to your big bowl. And now I'll move them out of the way because we're gonna start just chopping up all the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna use a large cucumber. This is an English cucumber that I've just peeled. I'm just gonna cut the end off and I'm gonna dice this. You could put whatever you want in this. I usually put whatever I put in a, in a big Greek salad. I have a chopped salad, chopped Greek salad recipe that I love to serve at dinner parties and this is pretty much almost everything that's in it. So I like to use English cucumbers because the seeds are very delicate in them. Many times regular cucumbers have huge seeds in the center and it would, if you're using those, it would be a good idea to slice them down the middle, just slice them in half and using a spoon or something, just kind of get all the seeds out. But if you're using an English cucumber, you don't have to worry about any, any of that. Then I have five or six scallions, also known as green onions. You can use a red onion instead or a combination. You could do like half of a red onion or a quarter of a red onion and maybe three or four scallions. Scallions are just very delicate, so I love the way they taste in salads. Plus I didn't have any red onions. A sweet Vidalia onion would also work in this. And I've already washed these uh, scallions really well. If you didn't wash yours, slice them up, put them in a big bowl of cold water, then lift them out and put them in a colander and drain them really well. And I like to go all the way down to the ends of the onion. Get the scallions in the bowl. Then I have Kalamata olives. The good thing is in the supermarkets now you can find these already pitted. So if you do, if they, if they are easy to find, you could go ahead and pick a jar of those up. Um, you can use your favorite olives in this. If you don't like Kalamata olives or if you have a combination of other olives, just chop them up and put them in the salad. This is about a half a cup of olives, but this is all about preference. So if you like less, put less, more, more. If your family doesn't like olives, leave them out. And then I have some grape tomatoes here. I love grape tomatoes because they're nice and sweet. I'm just gonna cut them in half and put them in the bowl. If you get really big ones, you could cut them in thirds. I have two roasted red peppers from the jar. Um, you can use a fresh green, red, or yellow, or even an orange bell pepper if you like that instead. I like, I love the roasted red peppers. They're a little smoky, sweet, tender. Just dice those up. And I also love these. They're not traditionally in Greek salad, pepperoncinis, but, oops. <laughs> but they add a nice little briny kick to the salad. They're a little spicy too. I like them, so I'm gonna just slice them and put them in. And then the herbs, I have a bunch of parsley and a small little handful of fresh mint. Use your favorite herbs, dill, basil, whatever you like. I'm just gonna cut the leaves off and leave the stems. Finely chop. Mm -hmm. 
You don't have to put all of this parsley in. I am because I'm making a really big batch. Plus, I love the freshness of parsley. And then let me get these mint leaves off. And of course, a big chunk of feta cheese. This is sheep's milk feta, which is the best. It's creamy, it's delicate, and it has the best flavor. If you can find sheep's milk feta, go ahead and use that. And now we're just gonna put the dressing together. So I have two garlic cloves that I've grated. You can use one if two is a little too much. Then your favorite vinegar. I love this white balsamic vinegar that comes from Crete. It's in our shop if you'd like to get some. You could use red wine vinegar or you could even use a balsamic. This is a white balsamic and it has a little hint of rosemary in it. You need about two, three tablespoons of it because I'm also going to add the juice of a lemon for some depth of flavor. Not the whole lemon, half the lemon should be good enough. That's also another about two tablespoons or so if you measure it and then really good quality olive oil. You need about a quarter to a third of a cup and a heaping teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm gonna mix it all up. And I'm gonna pour it over the salad. Give everything a mix and I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper once everything is mixed a little bit. Uh, I didn't add the salt because the feta cheese was right on top and feta cheese is already salty. You don't wanna add more salt onto the feta. Just a nice little hefty pinch. Some black pepper, just a little bit. And there you have it. A beautiful Mediterranean chickpea salad ready in no time. You can transfer the chickpea salad onto a beautiful serving platter. I like to use this one that I have that has the lemons on it because it's nice and vibrant just like the salad. It is time for the taste test and I want to make sure I get a little bit of everything on the spoon. Mm. Delicious. This would go great with lamb, chicken, even fish. Serve this alongside anything. You could even eat it like this for a nice lunch. Take it to work, pack it in the kids' lunches. So nutritious and delicious. The dressing is really zesty and fresh. All those herbs, the mint and the parsley really brighten it up. A lot of veggies in here, a lot of flavor. The whole thing is just perfect. I hope you guys give this a try. You can print the recipe out on the website, DimitrosDishes.com. If you would like to order any of the olive oil or the white balsamic vinegar, that's also in our shop on the website. If you wanna learn how to make more delicious salad recipes, click over here and I'll see you right over there, yes us.